Hi, I'm Rocky Jacobson with Rocky Mountain Hunting Calls, and we've been in business now for 26 years. Uh, I'm the original inventor and designer of the pallet plate diaphragm elk calls, which uh, we have a variety of different calls that we make. Um, we try to fit everybody's different size of mouth so they go into your mouth properly and seal good and, and work properly for you. But this year for 2018, we've uh, unveiled here at the ATA show, which I'm attending now, and uh, we're going to show you what we have new for the elk lineup calls. To start off with, we have the new grunt tube that we call the Whoppity Whacker. The Whoppity Whacker is kind of a combination of all the grunt tubes that I've made over the years and I've been trying to come up with different ideas to make grunt tubes sound better, work easier with your mouth diaphragms. And on this particular uh, Whoppity Whacker grunt tube, I've come up with the idea to put a stretchable rubber sleeve over the end of the, the grunt tube. And one reason for that is when you're walking through the woods carrying the tube, you have a tendency to hit limbs with the end of the tube. So now when it hits it, it's going to muffle that and it doesn't have all the pain sounds that elk pick up on when you hit the limbs. It also helps to dampen uh, the bad plastic sounds that you can possibly get out of tubes. It enriches the sounds that you produce through there, especially on your deep bass sounds like grunting and chuckling and lip ball sound. Uh, it helps carry the, the tones better all the way through when you're using a mouth diaphragm. And on the mouth calling end, I have what we call the VET system. The VET system, V-E-T, T, stands for Volume Enhanced Tone Technology. And what it amounts to is there's a spring inside the end of the mouthpiece. And what this spring does, it will create more volume when you're blowing into the call with your mouth diaphragm. It helps stabilize the note changes, especially when you're doing your octave changes from low notes to high note. And then when you get that high screaming challenge elk sound from a bull elk and you're trying to accomplish that same sound, that spring will help stabilize that highest note and intensify it to where they can hear it better and it's a higher screaming sound. On the end you notice it's got a mouthpiece that's smaller. Some people like a smaller mouthpiece to blow into. Some people like a bigger one. So we have developed an enlargement ring that will snap on the end of that so you can have a different feel to the end of the mouthpiece. It will create different sounds when you blow into the smaller end than it will the big end, so you have versatility of different note changes. The tube really has some great qualities to it and produces some great sound. We uh, put it out into the field for field test this last fall before we unleashed it with uh, 24 different pro staffers using our calls and 21 of the pro staffers killed elk with it. So it's pretty good odds. The other three would have killed elk, but they weren't as good as shots. They got to shoot, but they missed. <laughs> to go along with the grunt tube, we've designed two different reeds. The first one I'll talk about is called the Black Magic. The Black Magic, we've come up with a new frame. The frame is called the Golden Tone Plate, GTP, and we've enlarged the the size of it on the inside made it a little bit wider than normal. The dome on top is shaped a little bit different. And the latex we use is a different type of latex. It's a clear natural, but it has a different thickness and it stretches a little different than uh, our normal calls do. <clears throat> it's designed to give you uh, your younger sound cows and calves and your younger bulls. It's a lighter latex. So when you blow into it, you're going to get different sounds as replicating your younger elk sound. Very easy to accomplish those sounds because the light latex makes it work a lot easier. Then when you go after your bugle, it's going to sound like a, a younger bull sound. When you get into the next diaphragm we created, it's called the Reaper. The Reaper has the same frame, the GTP frame. It has a little heavier latex and we stretch it differently. It has the same shape of dome as the Black Magic. But this call is designed to sound like older cows 
and bigger bulls and you get more volume you can really reef on this call and let her rip That's become my favorite call. I like to reef on calls and get a lot of volume out of them. <clears throat> and finally we have what we call the Voodoo open reed cow call. The Voodoo is coming with an acrylic barrel which gives you good quality sound. Acrylic is just d designed to give you that good uh, quality sounds that you're, you're looking for. The soundboard now has two little portholes that are in the side of the soundboard. And what that does, it lets the air escape a little bit on the side so it gives you a little subtler, softer muse and it eliminates the vibration in this area so you're not getting those goosey sounds. What I like about it, I'm getting those nasal mu sounds all the way from the very beginning of your high note to your low end. This is going to be a really a cool call. It's a very pretty call. Beautiful body on it. From, made from acrylics. We have a lot of different calls we make. You know, all the way from turkey, predator, uh, moose calls, wolf calls. We have some new uh, rattle cages that we rattled the whitetail in with. And also we have the rattle cage for elk that uh, can be used for rattling in elk, setting on water holes that are in a tree stand. Uh, come look us up here at the booth at the ATA show, number 111, and, uh, or look up us on our website, rockymountainhuntingcalls.com.